Okay, so today we're just uh, talking about how to handle little baby ferrets and things that you can do to get them used to you. And Trish has some great little techniques that she's going to share with us. Okay, so we've got this is little Yuki Rose. It's another one of my babies. And only six weeks baby. old. She's six weeks old today. And this is just if you're if you adopting a ferret and how to get it to know you a little bit more. So if you when you get one. You just when the, the the best week, especially if they're not incredibly handled like mine are, mm -hmm. um, and some tend to be like uh, a little bit. Well, they're all kind of a little bit mental and hyper and everything. <laughs> they're teenagers. So they're, yeah, so they're excitable. They're learning. These these are the first time these have been outside today actually. So they're a bit excited. Well, she's not, so I just woke her up. Mm -hmm. But these ones are a little bit uh, want to explore everything. So when they get into your new house, they're going to be going nuts. So the time to get them to used to you is they're not going to listen to you while they're too busy running around and going mental and exploring everything. So you get them when they're asleep. So when they finally do sleep. Um, it's the best way for them to get to know you. So when they're asleep and they wake up and they're, they're resting on you and they're asleep and then they see your face when they wake up, that's when they're going to get to know you a lot better. So especially while they're sleeping, a little thing that I found that what you can do is um, if you just spit on your finger a bit and just straight the, the front of their nose with it here and then they, that has your stink on it. So it has your smell and they can smell you and it's almost it's like their mother. So when their mother's licking them and they're, they're, they're relaxed with it and it helps them relax and they get to know you more. So then if they wake up and then they see you, give me a kiss. There you go. <laughs> and then that'll help you get along a bit more and then they'll recognise you and not be so... Um, uh, I don't know if I can guarantee that that's going to make them not so mental. It just might be <laughs> a little bit more loving and a little bit more bonding. So they'll like you a little bit more that way. Um, uh, yeah, if you have them waking up you, uh, you can get them, you can get, well, one of my first ferrets I got used to, he will go to sleep, they're mental when they're young, they're just like children, they're overtired, they won't sleep, but you know that it's time for them to go to sleep, so if you can just get them up, and you just, you just stroke their head, just here, and they, they're quite peaceful about that, you don't do it forcefully, if you just do it relaxing, and it sends them to sleep, so if they're falling to sleep on you, Again, that helps you uh, bond a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So now she's even falling asleep just now. So just just lightly over the face is where they're really quite happy and relaxes them. And then and then you do occasional full stroke. And they get quite comfortable with that. Oh, we've got one going down here, Megan. Yep. <laughs> there we go. And always so, keep an eye on the babies. Yes. You never know what they're going to get into. So your house might be ferret proof, but it might not be baby proof. So mm -hmm. these little things will get into somewhere. Uh, things like paper towel rolls and toilet rolls. Their head can go in, but the rest can't, and then they can't get it out. So then that's a big squawking event, and it's quite amusing for the first time, but a bit distressful for them. So they will go into little places, and then they can't realise, or they don't know how to get out. So they'll get stuck in walls and stuck under under the uh, edges in your kitchen. You might not realise that, that the... Uh, if there's holes under there because the carpenters have missed, uh, m measured or just thought because you can't see it, it doesn't matter. And there's a hole there and then they'll get lost. They're very cute and they don't make much noise so they're easy to lose and get under and get underfoot. Oh, lost one. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> we did have four. Oh, there's the other one. Yeah. So we did yeah. have four. <laughs> So always watch your ferrets, make sure you know where they are. Yeah, keep <laughs> Especially count. with the babies. <laughs> There's a little fourth one. Two. Okay. Yep. I'm good, thank you.